A blessed day and welcome. This morning we'll be meditating on the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 24. Do you not know that in a race all runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. As the Apostle Paul launches into a new metaphor in this verse, he ensures his theme is still willingness to set aside personal rights and freedom for the good of others consistently. The race that is before us is a life of faithfulness manifesting the glorious and magnificent character of Christ Jesus in our every word and deed. The question is how do we accomplish running the race and winning the reward of eternity with our King. This morning we see the key element and connection as preparation. Everyone who decides to run the race puts in a lot of effort and preparation. In fact, without preparation nothing is possible. Several centuries ago a Japanese emperor commissioned an artist to paint a bird. A number of months passed, then several years, and still no painting was brought to the palace. Finally, the emperor became so exasperated that he went to the artist's home to demand an explanation. Instead of making excuses, the artist placed a blank canvas on the easel. In less than an hour, he completed a painting that was to become a brilliant masterpiece. When the emperor asked the reason for the delay, the artist showed him armloads of drawings of feathers, wings, head and feet. Then he explained that all of his research and study had been necessary before he could complete the masterpiece. Precious ones, we need to be prepared to be valiant in the testimony of Jesus Christ, to follow the Savior and keep His commandments, to give everything to build the church, including making necessary sacrifices to strengthen your family, to do missionary work and to reach out to those who are struggling. Today we learn that in order to endure, we are all called to first prepare. For those who prepare will indeed see the finishing line of victory. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help me to prepare well to endure just as Jesus did. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom Maranatha.